Question five. This is the alkyne version of the pinwheel question. So, as I said, with every functional group, you could draw out one of these. You probably want to do that to practice. Okay. Letter A. Hydroboration of an alkyne. That, if it's a terminal alkyne, meaning there's a hydrogen on the end, is how I get an aldehyde. What I get first, though, is an enolate. So what I'm going to have is this, which then undergoes reaction with water in solution, and that's going to give me the aldehyde. So that's how you get the aldehyde. C is the exact opposite. What I get is an enol, but it's at the more substituted carbon. So I get this, which also is not stable, and undergoes what's called tautomerization at that point to give me the ketone. It's only possible that I get an aldehyde if I had a terminal alkyne. If I had methyl groups on both ends, I get the same product out of both of these reactions. There's only a difference because there's a difference in substitution. With an alkyne, there's only one way to have a difference in substitution that have a hydrogen there. All right. Letter B and then letter E, which is to do the same thing twice, are one, I'm going to need a strong base, and two, I'm going to need methyl iodide to replace that hydrogen with an anion and then replace the anion with a methyl group as an SN2 reaction. We're going to do the same thing here, so this is just B times two done twice so it'll be one two three and four i'll have base methyl iodide base again methyl iodide that's it um letter d removing both pi bonds that's hydrogen and palladium without any restrictions if i only remember if i only want to remove one of the pi bonds my conditions have to be careful syn addition of hydrogen is what i see for letter f that is the modified palladium. That is the Lindlar's catalyst. That's the one that we had in the previous question. It doesn't react with alkynes because they don't, the alkenes don't fit. Sorry, it doesn't react with alkenes. They don't fit into the Lindlar's reactive sites, so the reaction stops at the alkene. Letter G, we're doing the anti-addition of hydrogen. That is a dissolving metal reduction. So that is either sodium and ammonia or lithium and ammonia. 